Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Nick Tan Chats. My name is Nick Tan and on today's episode, I'll be chatting with you guys about some of the packet card effects released by TCC Magic. So hi again guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for showing up, thanks for tuning in and thanks for spending some time with me today. So before anything else, I just want to take this opportunity to thank each and every single one of you out there. You know, I've just managed to pass the 4,000 uh, subscriber count on my channel, right? So I'm really happy about that. It's kind of like, well, a small milestone for me, I suppose, because, well, what started off as just a, a fun project, right? Uh, in 2020, you know, during COVID um, has, you know, come down to this, right? And I never thought, you know, back then that I would still be doing these videos uh, in 2024, right? And it really is um, just because of all of your support, you know, all the viewers out there, because without you guys watching the videos, there wouldn't be a point in, in doing them, right? So uh, thank you to all of you, you know, uh, for the support. It's been amazing. And um, I'm really happy as well that I have this uh, this small avenue, I suppose, uh, to uh, contribute some value, you know, back into the magic and mentalism community um, that has been so good to me uh, over the years. So, contrary to what some of you think, okay, uh, through your emails and messages, I don't work for TCC. <laughs> okay, I'm not I'm not working at TCC or for them. Uh, I just happen to be doing you know a string of uh, reviews for TCC recently because, um, well, they sent me a, you know a big box of stuff. All right, so I, I just you know figured I, I had to work through them, right? And today uh, will be kind of like the last item from from that package. Okay, so today uh, we'll be talking about well six items actually, um, but I thought I'd just do them together, you know, because they're all kind of related. Uh, they're all packet card tricks. All right, so there are six of them, and I believe you can pick them up uh, individually, you know, as individual um, effects uh, from the TCC website or uh, you can pick them up as uh, a bundle as well, all right, for like $10 or something like that uh, for all six, okay? But uh, today's episode is just about, you know, telling you guys uh, what they're about, okay? And um, maybe I'll, I'll give you a demonstration or two as well uh, of the effects. So, you know, in case you're not familiar with them, um, you can, you know, have an idea about what they're all about. Okay, so I thought I'd just set up uh, one of my old close-up tables uh, just to talk about uh, these uh, items here today. So again, uh, these are six packet tricks, okay? And uh, let's talk about them really quickly, uh, individually, all right? So uh, over here, first of all, we have something called ESP card, and this is uh, a set of uh, 10 ESP cards, okay? Now, these are the back designs uh, of the cards. I believe these are the Triumph uh, cards that uh, TCC has, you know, they've got a matching deck of cards as well uh, with, with this back design. So you get 10 of these cards and uh, these are what the faces look like, okay, in your standard ESP symbols, uh, the circle, that's the star, the square, the plus sign and the wavy lines, okay, so uh, you get 10 of them uh, and uh, the backs uh, are not marked, alright, so they are as they are, you know, but you can, I think, yeah, really easily add in your own uh, kind of marks if you so wish. Uh, but with this set of 10, you know, you can just perform any of your favorite kind of matching, you know, ESP matchup kinds of effects. Okay, so next up we have uh, a wild card set. All right, this is a set of eight cards uh, over here. And uh, I've prepped uh, a deck of cards as well, just to give you guys a quick demo uh, of what this effect, um, you know, is all about, right? In case you're not sure about wild cards. So, for example, you have two spectators, uh, they, you know, call out stop, I suppose, and they select, all right, two playing cards at random, and then you introduce this packet of cards, right? You say that, you know, you've got a stack of cards over here, and uh, all red backed, and um, let's have a look at what cards you pick. The two of hearts, if you take this packet here and rub it like that, uh, you get a two of hearts, and not just one of them, actually all of them turn into the two of hearts. All right, so that goes aside. And then uh, you turn over the next card, it's the Queen of Spades. And then you rub the cards one at a time and they start to change into the Queen of Spades. Next one as well, becoming the Queen. Um, and of course, the next one, rubbing like that, becoming the Queen of Spades. You can take the next one as well, rub it like that. It too becomes the Queen of Spades, uh, leaving you with a whole bunch of twos left. But we'll do it a little bit faster this time. So this two over here, a little rub, also becomes the Queen of Spades. And uh, the remaining few, if we take the last one and put it in between, a little twist and they all become the Queen of Spades. 
Okay, so that is uh, the wildcard uh, effect and you get a set of that um, inside this, uh, you know, envelope as well. All right, so next up, uh, you have something called the four ace assembly. And this is, I think, a pretty standard item, you know, it's, well, I, I won't show it to you, but it's, it's just four cards, okay, four of these cards, and uh, they are, you know, DFs, okay, so you can use them uh, in conjunction with uh, the Triumph deck or, you know, they, they feel pretty much the same as uh, bicycles as well. So you can use them uh, along with bikes if you wish. So next up, uh, we have the three card Monty. Okay. And uh, well, obviously this is the ultimate three card Monty uh, from Mike Skinner. And uh, strangely enough, I've never performed this effect actually, but <laughs> I'll, I'll try uh, to do that for you right now. So we've got three cards, Ace of Hearts, the two and the three. All right. So the Ace, the two and the three. And um, of course, in three card Monty style, uh, your job is to keep track of the ace of hearts. All right. So for example, if we lay the ace of hearts down here, uh, the three over here and the two over here. And if we mix the cards around a little bit, just like that, and you ask them to guess where the ace is, uh, they say it's here and it's not. They think it's here, it's not. And uh, of course, it's over here. All right. So we'll do it again. And this time uh, we will eliminate one of the cards. All right, so three of spades will go down over here. We'll only play with the ace and the two. Okay, so we'll just mix the cards up this way. They guess where they think the ace is. Either way, they'll be wrong because the ace is on the table. Okay, so that is the ultimate three card Monty set um, that uh, TCC has also produced. Next up are these two items. Uh, well, this is Happy Birthday card trick and the rose. And these two are actually the same effect, okay? And I think, I'm not sure if I can remember how to do this, but I will try, all right? So let's do uh, the rose, okay? So what the effect is, uh, is this, right? It's a little card effect with four of these cards. And uh, this one is, uh, it's got a picture of a, a small rosebud, okay? A small rosebud, we'll set it aside. And all of them are rosebuds, actually. Okay, so we'll just set them uh, onto the table like that, okay? Now, rosebuds are pretty, but of course, uh, they will look a lot better once they bloom, all right? And that is, um, you know, a rose, okay? And uh, we'll do them one at a time. That one is still a rosebud, but if you give it some time, it too starts to bloom, giving us two roses over here. The third one, still a little rosebud, but of course, it too blooms as well, okay? So giving us three roses, and of course, if you get a whole bunch of roses, you will eventually get a bouquet. All right, so that is <laughs> the uh, the rose uh, card effect. And I said that the happy birthday effect is, is the same, and uh, well, the sequence is pretty much the same. It's just that uh, for the birthday card trick, uh, it deals with, I'll just, I'll just show it to you guys briefly, right? There's a finale with the birthday kind of a cake, all right, which is the bouquet. And then, uh, you know, they deal with candles, okay? So candles, are they are not lit, and then they become lit, and then uh, you produce the birthday cake, okay? So the effect is the same, but uh, it's just a different theme, okay? So uh, I hope that was clear. Okay, these are the six effects uh, from TCC. I hope this didn't come across like a dealer demo. Um, but um, yeah, that's what they are, you know? Uh, the cards feel just, you know, as you would expect playing cards to feel, uh, like bikes, I suppose. Um, but um, yep. They are available for you uh, to pick up at TCC if you wish. All right, guys, uh, but that's all I have to say about these six uh, packet card tricks from TCC Magic. You know, if you'd like to pick them up uh, again, you know, I think they are available, um, you know, as individual tricks, or you can pick them, you know, all together as a, a six packet bundle um, on their website as well. All right, so if you're interested to have a look, uh, do use my link below. And I think uh, there will be a small discount for you as well if you use my link. Okay, so uh, do head on over and uh, take a look around. But that's all for today's episode, guys. I do hope you enjoyed it and got something out of it as well. And uh, as always, you know, take care, stay safe, have fun with your magic and your mentalism, and I will see you on the next episode.